What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over another spodge problem called Candy 3. Basically, you have N kids who have their all their backpack stuff with candy, but then some some arguments happen. Teacher realizes this and then he says put all your candies into the table here. Then there is a large pile of candies on the table. Now the teacher asks, I will divide these candies into N equal heaps and everyone will get one of them. Then the kids ask, is this actually possible? So uh, basically in this problem statement, you are given N candies and you see if can you divide them, the total candies, uh, the candies into N equal heaps, okay? So um, the test is basically, there's T test cases. First line is N number of children. Each N line contains the number of candies each child bought. Okay, so you would print out yes if the candies can be equally distributed, no otherwise. Okay, so how do you do this problem? Well, um, the problem is actually not that difficult. So remember back when we talked about modular arithmetic? Okay, so remember we talked about modular arithmetic, right? So like, um, if I do like A plus B, right? And I mod by C, this is equivalent to A mod by C plus B mod by C, right? So we're gonna do the same thing here, basically. We're gonna we're gonna use this exact same thing here. So they're asking if um, they're asking is if can I equally distribute? So I have n n students and each of them have has candy, right? And can I equally distribute all of them into uh, n? So we know that uh, we have to mod by n because that's uh, distribute equally distributed. So this is where you have to check can the sum of all the candies be divisible by n. So if I sum up all the candies, let's say c is a each candy of ci, right? And I sum up from zero to all n students for every candy. Is this total sum, um, is this total sum divisible by n, right? Right. If I divide by n, is it uh, is it divisible by n, right? So to check if something's divisible by n, you just have to check if it's mod by n if, and this is equal to zero, okay? So that's basically all you have to do. You just have to sum up all the values and check if you can mod by n. So now the only issue with this is that um, summing up could get overflow. So what you do is that for each value, you just you just mod by n and while you're summing it up. So you're gonna, for each value, you're gonna be ci mod by n. So summation of zero to n each of them you're going to sum them up and mod by n and then take the whole thing and mod by n and check if it does this equal to zero and they'll basically tell you the answer because uh what they're asking is is that if i all add up all the candies can i equally distribute them is it divisible by n right into n piles so that's is it divisible by n and modding by n means that you check the remainder does it equal to zero Okay, so guys, this is the code. Uh, we're reading the number of test cases while t minus minus for each test case. You're going to read in the total number of students. Then you got to create your array for every single candy. I put D, you could use C, whatever. All right, uh, then you need to have your sum. Um, so then this is what I did. Basically, I just looped through from zero to N, right? And then I'm going to read in every single candy value and then while it's reading it i'm going to sum up so sum is going to equal to the sum of uh, the current sum plus equal to plus the candy the current candy at i then i take the whole thing and then i mod it by n and then uh, it's going to keep doing that over and over again right so that's basically just distributing the modulus by n inside of the summation and then after that if i check if sum is equal to zero then i print out yes otherwise i print out no and that's basically the whole code. All right, I got AC'd here, so yeah. Ray Cop, subscribe. This was not a hard problem. I'll check you guys later. Peace.